problems, you shout out, Lenny. Hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it.
modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. You won't! Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> no, it's... Seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now! I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right, this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Yeah. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Well.
What about you? Shh, shh. You can't speak. You turned idiot. Right. Broke poor Mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Fenton. There, there. Don't get mad now. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. Her mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you? Boys like a couple of bucks. I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your luck. I'll have one, Fenton. Three drinks. A gift. Bounty! It's a sin to look a gift horse in the When I see a gift horse, I know. Oh, that's some strong stuff! Just keep them going! Zero catches all! So drink up! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this! Hey, open another bottle! Be shy, boys! Where's mine, then? Don't be shy! It's the land of opportunity! Now it's your opportunity to get You're fine! Oh, wife is 
Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in. Have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 oh. Coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. Ah! Ah! Think we were... I miss Arthur coming out of the alley.
All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law, you couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback. For my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all got... ...to pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter.
That's it. Come on. Good to meet you. Morning. Good morning. Oh, hi, Dutch. Miss O'Shea. Hey, folks. Hi. Hello. Don't know what we're gonna do with you. I don't either. Buck up. It's gonna be all right. Okay.
Okay, my girl. Yep. You there? Who? Hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West day. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them. Scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right, get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop just there. Now, set it off. Goddamn scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, 
You gonna tell me about your Wild West days, running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, the man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused. with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm, same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Well, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Uh, I ain't sure. How about this, then? It's a good thing you're quicker with a gun. Come on. Okay. Got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck. <laughs>
like something. Whoa, what? to the ways. Okay then, girl. Yeah. Easy. Whoa.
Come on. Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? All right, take a look. After a little tchotchke, are we? Okay, that should work. Better than a rabbit foot. I won't ask too many questions about its previous Appreciate ownership. Let's go, girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good to see you again. So, buying or selling? Right, let's see. Sure. Okay, let's take a look at it. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Not so many know their way around a needle and thread. It's good business, I'm telling you. 